Hello, my name is Bob Yerkes. I'm a field service representative of the Whitmore Manufacturing Company. Whitmore was established in the year 1893 and over the last hundred years have been manufacturing lubricants for extreme service duty applications in mining, railroad, and heavy industrial markets. But today we're here to talk about our reliability product lines. In particular, our air century desiccant breather product lines and our oil safe lubricant management handling system. Any lubricant management program is uh, designed to maximize the production and minimize maintenance and repair of our critical assets throughout the plants. So the process begins with identifying the current state of the lubricants, uh, the selection, and application to the equipment. So we work with a, uh, our customers to go into the plant, survey the existing uh, processes for identifying the lubricants, handling the lubricants, ensuring that the lubricant inventory is being turned over, and then also understanding that we have to ensure that the right product gets into the right application, as there are many different uh, oils, for example, that could be used in one plant. So that process begins with identifying those oils to the asset and creating a matrix that can be identified and followed utilizing either color coding or symbol coding to uh, identify the particular product and the particular assets that that product should be applied to. Then the next step is to understand that new lubricants aren't necessarily clean lubricants. Contamination can occur in the, just in the process of uh, managing your inventory uh, and where that inventory is stored. If it's stored in, indoors, contamination could be fairly minimal. While on the other hand, if the product is stored outdoors, there is a great potential for contamination of both moisture and dust, even though the containers are not open. So, we don't want to put these contaminated fluids into our critical assets. So, the next step to a good best practices lubrication program is to clean the products uh, before they're actually applied into the assets. That begins through a system as we see uh, behind me. The system is composed of multiple number of tanks color-coded, symbol-coded to identify the different lubricants in use. The product is brought in uh, in your typical 55-gallon refinery drum. The drum is evacuated utilizing dedicated uh, service hoses, again color-coded by product to ensure a minimal or zero cross-contamination. As the product is evacuated from the drum into our holding tank, the product is filtered. Then, while in storage in the tank, as it's waiting to be consumed, the system can be energized to create a kidney loop filtration, further cleaning the, the, the product while it's in storage. And then finally, we're going to dispense the product into a transfer container that's going to be taken into the field and used to um, top off or refill the asset component. Again, on the process of dispensing the product, the product is once more filtered. So that's three-way filtration, maximizing the oil cleanliness. <music>